also your next presentation on uh, DM detachment. Yeah. <coughs> Thank you so much uh, uh, for giving me the an another topic, decimate detachment noted in the table or post-operatively what to do. It's why it is happened. It happened during any instrumentation, except few cases, it can happen spontaneously like PPMD, uh, otherwise this can happen spontaneously. You can see the patient is absolutely fine. Next two days there's a total uh, decimate detachment. So this is a case uh, in the six post-op days come with a corneal edema. And you can see that all are good, corneal you know, central circular, I will in place, healthy, and I did not notice any kind of, uh, this is my case, I did not notice any kind of uh, extra energy I used this case because the lens or the cataract was uh, just any tree. So uh, now the slit lamp, I can till that slit lamp, I can make out that there is a decimate detachment. So what to do next? And I do the anti rho CT, and, and uh, was a, this is a vertical section. And you, you should go for the vertical and horizontal to see the extent of the extent of the decimate detachment because you need to inject air, you need to clear cornea. So you have to define the decimate area, detachment area. So this is the ultimate result of the, this OCT, and I I uh, I make a side port because. Uh, the vertical one, the vertical one are not very extended, so I put the air. This we, I, we call the power of air, that the, all the endothelial surgery uh, is uh, basically is, uh, is depend on the power of air. Uh, you go for DME or you go for DSEC or you repair the decimal detachment, this is a power. You make it it's, uh, absolutely tight, make it tight and make a bubble and make it tight. If you make it very tight, wait for 30 minutes, then you can release some amount of air. So after after four hours, this is absolutely clear cornea and the decimate is absolutely attached. And after six days, you can see this is a clear. So you have to diagnose that in time because if you, if you neglect this case, there is a inflammation in the decimate and the decimate will be taught. Yeah, once the de decimate will be taught, then it is very difficult to reattach it. So then you have to do the decimatoplexy. You have to release, keep some incision in the decimate to release this. So you can see this some cases it's become absolutely taut. If it is like modulating, it is easy. It can settle with the air. So it is not described in 1928. It is not new, but uh, but total and central did we could talk. Uh, but yes, it can happen. The blunt uh, blade, phaco probe, hydration of or, or spontaneous. As I said, only the case of PPMD, it can spontaneously have even after uh, um, uneventful phaco after three days there can be a total uh, detachment. This is uh, this is also my case. Just observe this case. What I make a mistake, I, uh, when I hydrated the second port, I, there is a uh, decimate detachment probably here, but I missed it. Again, I going for the hydration, keep hydrating, and I, again, I just hold it, decimate detachment. So when you miss the earliest sign of the decimate detachment, keep injecting fluid, it will increase. What to do? So next step. I identify into the OT and the next step, I put air. Yeah. So whenever decimate detachment is, you can see this, uh, this uh, understand that air bubble should not be go within the, uh, within the, uh, this is a very important step. If, if, if sometimes it goes, it, you try to make a, uh, reattach and make a put a air and air goes in the cornea and the decimate and there will be the total decimate detachment. You to, it will be careful to make a clear corneal uh, entry. So this is a case uh, by Dr. Boshak. You can send, uh, see this. 
uh, with the hydration if there is a little bit of detachment you can see this here again he just missed probably yeah, now it is a just made detachment so uh, uh, this can happen during surgery then you you should go for the uh, for the total air tamponade so what to next the just put air make a tamponade keep it you, you needed you suture the incision keep it tight and the next day it will be fine within two to three days it will be fine hey here it's a uh, putting the air probably in the in the uh, yes and uh, probably in the in the in between the cornea and the desmet so you, you can see it's like a big bubble of the dal so again you put a make a uh, separate incision remove the ar from the in between desmet and the cornea and Yes, now the AR from the uh, desmet and the cornea is removed. Put more AR. I, it should be a single big bubble. Single big bubble means you are in a right place. I am, uh, this is the result and I am not going for, this is a case uh, referred to me, the surgeon started surgery there is total desmet detachment he identified he abandoned the surgery unfortunately patient came seven days late there is a corneal edema so i have to remove the all the cor uh, corneal epithelium so because if you continue uh, at the early stage of the surgery if there is a desmet detachment if you continue the surgery you can damage the desmet the, there will be the desmet uh, removal or there will desmet tear in that case, if it is a desmet tear, it's a very difficult to manage. When then you have to go for either DMEC or DSEC operation. And make a tunnel and after that, you can say I have just one minute more. Uh, this is, you can see, this is a case, NS3 cataract, desmet is well, well settled and after one month, you can take up the surgery. Thank you so much for kind, Dr. Bhanati, you want to comment? It's your subject.